I bet. Yo, what's poppin' fakey fam? I'm back. Okay, we're not back. That's like a whole different thing. But like, I'm back. Okay, let me just say it. I'm back again with another brand new episode of Thoughts with Friends. Yeah. No, not Friends with a Friends. I'm here with... <laughs> Yeah, hey, it's your boy, almost <laughs> my. Yeah. So Emma, literally before we started recording, whatever, bro, we were like chilling here the whole time, thinking about yeah, thinking about like a name for a podcast. So I don't know, guys. We have decided on thoughts, thoughts with, with friends. friends. You get me? So in the future, you know, you're gonna be seeing a third person sitting here, or maybe two. Who knows? So that's when y'all gonna see now the real thoughts with friends. You get what I'm saying? Exactly, boy. So, bro, how you feeling? Are you good, my boy? Nah, 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 let me start like this, because, like, that's how we're going to do it. Mm-hmm. Every time we start a podcast, we're going to be like, because it starts with friends, I'm going to be like, dog, what's, what's on your on thoughts? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be like, dog, what's on your thoughts, bro? Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell me whatever yeah, you've been yeah. feeling, whatever, but what's been on your thoughts, my boy? Hey, boy. Scenes, hectic. Hectic, but it's, it's, it's a lot, thing. Like, honeys, school, money. No, like, boy. it's a combination of everything. <coughs> tell me, tell us about it. Man, Hans, boy. Hans, shit. And he's a moving mad different boy. <laughs> Bro, but okay, we spent like a lot of time together, so I actually know what you like, you yeah, know what yeah, you yeah. need. But obviously, I'm gonna be like, nigga, tell us about it, because I want the people to hear. <laughs> yeah, boy. So we like spend a lot of time together. So, Emma, should we tell him? Emma, let's yeah. just tell him. He, he probably doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, like, I bet. So, during Easter, the Easter holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go there, my boy. Let's go there. Yeah. So during the Easter holidays, me and the boy, we like link up with some, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, some, you know, yeah. particular individuals. Mm. Yeah. And it was, it was nah. How was it? It was, it was nah, nice. It was actually. <laughs> it, was like, it was actually. No, we spent like nah. Okay, that night, yes, yes. but like, we spent like another. You, you, you. The night before. Like it, it the night true. before it was a late night. Yeah. yeah then we vibe. Then we vibe. Yeah. And then the 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 the, the, the sleepover team. So yeah. Um. By the way, my parents, if you are watching this, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Like we particularly we we met with this particular you know females. Very nice actually, and. Yeah. Both of them are not from here. If y'all don't know, we like from Northwest, from Aranstad, if y'all don't know. And like, we met with this beautiful paintings, bro. Boy, paintings. A whole nother level, my whole boy. Whole nother level. And yeah, we, met, we we linked up with them, whatever. We met. He, he literally joined the party like later. later. So I was with those people, like, you know, with the both, both of the females. They were cousins. I was with them like the whole time, like the whole week type shit. And one thing, bro, if y'all hear like background noise, like, bro, we shooting this shit outside. Outside. Yeah, we like, outside, my boy. We outside like this. So, like, if y'all hear things outside, and if we make mistakes, bro, it's our first podcast, so, like, relax, type shit. So, but back to the story. So, we met with them. He joined the party, like, later, bro. Mm. And it was a night, like, we started talking, and we were vibing out, whatever. Nigga. And we vibed out, and... <laughs> what happened? Uh, like a lot of shit happened, boy. Like, yeah. Did, did you start dating? Boy. Are y'all talking? <laughs> Are y'all still talking? We're but, still talking. Yeah. Like, I'm enjoying talking to her. Like, it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel forced. Ish. Ish. Uh, dog, I wish I was you. <laughs> but okay, me, the, this, this, like, this females we're talking about, like, he met up with the cousin, the other cousin, and I met up with the other cousin, so we linked up. Me, in terms of where we stand right now, me and the, you know, with the, like, the female, we stopped talking. Um, literally, actually, recently, like, yeah. literally, like, recently, yeah. we stopped talking, so, yeah. But at least, like, y'all, like, will come about it, like, you know, yeah, nah, we were chill. Yeah. We were chill about it. Not the messy type of thing. Ah, yeah, so, that's the first segment of, like, what's on your thoughts. Mm. So, every time you're gonna, like, a segment, it's like, segment. first segment, yes, yes. second segment, third segment. Now, the second segment we're getting to is, like, conversations. Yeah, I'm So, okay. yeah, I, like, prepared some few points, like, something I thought, like, people would like to, like, mm. for us to hear, to talk about, whatever. Okay. And, yeah, the first conversation I want us to have is, how do you feel about dating or vibing with a person that's your friend? Boy, I feel like... It's more like 
genuine like it's free you all know each other on a friendly like vibe yeah. now like you are now lovers you are like landers and ana but don't you it's chilled i don't know you don't know have you have you done it before hey boy are you doing it <laughs> it's <Nah>. <laughs> <laughs> and i've done it before it's actually chill cuz like i feel like those really type of relationships they last longer no nah. no nah, nah, but doesn't it change the dynamic of the friendship don't you think <laughs> Boy, you have to remember they are no longer your friend. They are now your lover. Do you feel like you can I'm busy with this female that was my friend. Yeah. We've been friends ever like, you know, before I made my move, mm. before we kissed or whatever. Do you feel like we can go back to the Boy, I feel like to the like start start thing. You can't go back to being just just friends. Doesn't work like that, boy. Cuz like obviously emotions and feelings are like involved. So everything like if we did on like So wait. But if it's like that that means one of y'all is catching feelings. Who's exactly. catching feelings? Exactly. In your in, in like in in your case. In my situation, I'm the one who caught feelings. Scenes. Crazy. I, I don't I'm not, I'm not here to lie. Ah, boy, just that he. Okay, so you catch feelings. I caught feelings, but then the way she was moving was hectic, boy. Was like how? Was, like she was applying yeah. pressure, my boy. Pressure, pressure. 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 She, like we were not, like she was sitting on it like we were no longer chatting like normally. Nah. Things like how are you and like they, yeah, yeah that's, things like that that shit like faded out yeah that's crazy but like you know I just feel like with the with the female with the like dating with your friends I've done it before obviously you know I've done it mm. <clears throat> and Emma Loki shit got hectic fast and then you lost a lover and a friend that's <laughs> hectic boy <laughs> yeah so I've done it before and like I just feel like I don't, I don't know I feel like It's not right, bro. Obviously, cause like I feel like you lose a friend. Yeah, and and Emo, you can be having a nice, like a nice yeah. friendship yeah. going on, but you because you horny and whatever, <laughs> you now ruining you ruining everything. <laughs> so I don't know. Have uh, you say you've done it? Hey, Mar, now I've like boundaries up. We don't do things like that anymore. Mm-hmm. So you haven't done it. Like when was the like? When it's like, oh my grade nine. Grade nine. When you done that shit. Boy. Me Loki is pretty recently. Just like oh, boy. Now me is pretty recent. Bro, <laughs> my my life been crazy. So yeah, I just feel like like I'm saying like I like I'm going to make my point again. I just feel like bro, it's not supposed to really like happen. <laughs> Cuz nigga, we ruining friendships, guys. We be thinking like we can't be losing our homeboys like these hands we call our homeboys boy. because of us being horny and, and just human nature. You might you like like in my cases Bro, I enter in that type of relationship. I know it's like a friendship, but it's like a relationship. Mm. I enter in that space. Me in my head I'm like, dog, I'm not going to catch feelings. I just I mean, I'm just here for the, you know, for what I'm here for. Mm. Kisses, hugs, whatever, the cuddles, you know, even more than that sometimes, but emo. It's like I know I'm not going to catch feelings, but this females always catch feelings, bro, when I deal with them. So I don't I can't under- I don't know how you mean when you say like Nigga, you the one catching feet. But you know how these hands move, man. Yeah. But it's human, it's human nature though. Like that's how honey says. It is. I mean, that's how it is. But yeah, man, don't date your female friends, bro. Like it's stay it's away. It's like just messy. protect the friendship. Protect the friendship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but let's move on. And um, I wrote in here. Can you? Can you? What did I say? Can you date your friend's ex? Nah, boy. Nah, cause basically you dating my ex means that you've been checking my. Like my ex, while we're still together. No, 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 no. Another man's trash can be another, another man's, man's treasure. treasure. No, my boy. <laughs> nah. nah. I mean, okay, cool, bro. Like, nah, wait. I, I have, I, I have two answers. I, I, I understand, but I don't agree. I understand, but I don't agree. I understand, Lena. Ne, my happy. I don't under, I don't agree, Lena. Nah. So, cause you know when niggas say like, nigga, it's my, it's the feelings, it's my heart. The heart wants what the heart wants. What if it's that? What if so it's the that? heart wants nah. the treasure that bro, I have. You, you know, but like, bro, let's let's be a, like, let's keep it a hundred. Sometimes it's not even you were dating with this female and I was checking her out. Now sometimes that's we, him wanna stop nah, sugarcoating you, my boy. Sometimes it's that's what happens most of the time. Cause if it wasn't for me, you can get some weed. Uh, Most of the time, my boy. So I introduced you to a hand who's like my girlfriend. That's why you're my friend. You you made him. Nah, my, you wait. Ma- you, 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 like, you take it off my hand, nigga. That's why you my friend, yeah, though. Okay. You making me link with my soulmate. Wait. You you you. <laughs> ma- <laughs> so my ex is your soulmate, boy. Nah, no, wait. Okay, not in, not like that, not like that. 
<laughs> but like I'm saying, my nigga, I'm agree. Like I, I, I don't agree with it, but I understand uh, it. Wait, <laughs> I understand that, bro. You can. Let's say, let's say, like, bro, there's a female you been with, like, two years, like, it's two years now, you yes. broken up with this female, and I, it doesn't I matter, just like, boy. bro, what if she's my wife, dog? Imon, if, like, it's been two years sharp, it's understandable, Marimona, in, a, like, a year, nah, boy. Bro, let me ask you like this, do you believe they say another man's trash can be another man's trash? Yes or no, do you believe? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you, do you, like, agree with that? Uh, it's a yes. If it's a yes, then never let me. If if your boy is like nigga, what if? Unless you approach me on some like monad, you know that hand that you dated. I feel like there's something going on. Like can I hit that? I'm like yeah. If I'm cool, yeah, I'm gonna tell you monad scape. Yeah, but like it's a sharp. I'm gonna tell you scape. Okay, let's make it clear. There's some exes that you can't touch. Please. Nigga, you can't touch. Boy. I don't care. It's boy. home. <laughs> We're not talking about that's home, boy. Don't go there. <laughs> There's some exes you can't I touch. The key. Boy. It's locked. No, you don't go touch. there. My boy, no matter what, you can't touch. <laughs> don't even look her way. It's like, bro, when she greets you, don't even greet back. Mm, ew, exactly. It's that deep. So obviously, bro, there's some exes you can't really touch. But like, nigga, I just feel like, can you date your friend's ex? If if yes is your answer, then you should check if that person really your friend, bro. You should check your friends. Because I don't think a friend should be really dating. out be out here dating your ex. Even though I understand it, but I don't agree with it. If, boy, if imagine me pulling up, up with one of your exes, boy. Dog. Nigga, <laughs> That's messy, like, boy. Like, nah. Be on the section. My ex is messy like, for the hand because you're dating niggas from the same friend circle. Like, ah, but some money is just don't get like that. I don't think honey is a big deal. Has Boy, Mary, Khabu, the streets are gonna talk. Now she's rolling. Kiss all her guys, you know. Skate by uh, everyone. Some honey's don't care. Trust me. I, like, I don't feel like honey's gay. Boy. Honey's just here. It's a good time. Yeah, but they, honey's are there for a good time, not a long time, bro. So exactly, <laughs> boy. So I don't think they care like that. Maybe us boys will be like, oh no, our feelings, man. Some honeys, though, I don't mean all of the honeys. I don't mean all of the honeys, but some honeys, I feel like they don't care. And if a honey really fuck with you like that, I don't think she herself would want to fuck with your friends, bro. Exactly. So you should also just, you know, look at the honey like, did she really fuck with but you? But at that moment, y'all, like, y'all have nothing. No, 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 no. What do you mean? I want to next. Bro. What is this? Bro, what? What do you mean? I'm not agreeing with you. The fact that me and you dated, we've done some things. Nigga, I've touched you. You've touched me. You've seen some places. And you tell me I'm not next to you. Bro, don't tell me that bullshit now. You Boy, she's bro. gonna say, nah, I can do whatever I wanna do. Uh, like, brah. Nah, I don't, I don't agree with that. But, like I'm saying, some honeys don't care. But I don't agree with, like... Friends like this nigga dating my ex. Nah, I don't agree with it, but I understand it, but I don't agree with it. Can your partner be around her ex? <laughs> what's, your, what's your take on that? Wait, hey, this 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 hey, man, that's a risky nah, move. I just feel like you know, like I just feel like why are you I, around your ex? Like that means the relationship has the, like if you're over the nigga, why are you still around the nigga? I feel like the relationship hasn't ended. Exactly, if you, y'all can end it by you know words and mm. be like, knock it's over, whatever, whatever, whatever you did this. But then but the chemistry when you, y'all link, you like, y'all on the, on the on it's some, like y'all never like left on some on like, some Bluetooth thing, like y'all just connect. So like, nigga, don't be around your ex. <laughs> please don't be around. It gets messy, my boy. Nigga, please don't be around your ex. Cause like it just creates unnecessary drama. Now we're gonna, you know, like that's that's where even they said you insecure. Nah. Would you be cool your like? Would you be cool your partner being around your ex or her exes? Hey boy. If you say yes, that means you're doing the same thing. That if means you just. Nah, I'm not cool with it, Marie. It's her life. Nah, I can't say that. It's her life. I can't dictate her life. Nah, so I, do whatever you wanna do, ma. Just know that you chilling with your ex. You no longer my hand. Look, you chill with. Crazy. If you're gonna chill, leave me. Go high. Go chill with your ex. Like on some like now nah, we're gonna shoot a YouTube video. Nah, boy. You're yeah, gonna come YouTube back video? here and then you, you you're gonna be single. YouTube video in his room. Crazy. Oh boy. So nah, don't don't be friends with your exes. Snake. Yeah, don't be friends with your exes. The relationship hasn't ended basically. Yeah. But I feel like getting over a hun, especially if like you were gone gone, it's one of the hardest things a person can do. So I don't really blame the nigga. Bro, but that's uh, that's irrelevant to what we're saying. 
Hey, but I'm just highlighting you on. So you, so you would be cool with like your girlfriend. I come out the other nigga down like nah, relax. I know you're going through a lot, but you be cool with that. I wouldn't mind to be honest. Yeah, that's emo. That she, she's giving, she's giving that nigga emotional like support. Umona, it's not like they're out there kissing. Nigga, emo. But Loki, think about it. Boy, think what if the nigga is thinking of like committing suicide or something? So that's not her problem. <laughs> Demo, the, the fact that Demo, the fact Boy, that Boy, so what you saying is that. Nigga, if you are hunting, <laughs> bro, the the fact that wait, they broke nah, up, wait, yeah, man, what what what's the meaning of breaking up, bro? Like, I don't think cutting ties, like cutting ties, like, ties means there's nothing that. That's, boy, man, what if he needs emotional support? Why from her? She is the one who knows him better than every anyone what? else, bro. That by itself, it's just <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking up with the hand. The fact that you you tell, imagine your hand telling you. You asking your hand, you're like, dog, why are you helping this nigga out emotionally? And your hand says, nah, I just know how to like, you know, control him, his <laughs> emotions. And just, bro, isn't that like, that's, your hand is pissing on you if you ask me. He's I pissing know. on you, bro. Yeah. Cause like, nigga, what do you mean you know that nigga? That means, you know, that nigga still has that low, you know, special place special in place her heart. In your heart. Yeah, nah, like, I don't think, I don't think, bro, I don't think you should be talking to your, your exes. Communication with your ex is crazy, Mark. For some reason, I understand. Being and being around your ex. When we say being around your ex, we know we know we not necessarily mean physically. We yeah. just mean like being around them, communication, yeah, hanging, stuff out. Like that. hanging out with the same people. Yeah, I just yeah. think it creates it creates like you know a little tension between you and your yeah. current partner. So I don't think it's a, it's a good thing. You're making them feel insecure, like exactly. So uh, so and your partner might not even be insecure, but the fact that you are talking to your ex. ex. That it's just crazy. drives them to be insecure. Like, why are you talking to her? Fact. I feel like a lot of people, bro. I feel like we meet a lot of people, and those people are not even insecure. But we turn them into being insecure. Think, yeah, bro. By the shit that we do. And I'm guilty of it. I'm not going to cap. Like, I've, I've done sc- <laughs> did some cream cream. Nah, I'm gonna, I've never done that. <laughs> cap. You see, he's wearing a cap. You nigga. You cap it. <laughs> but for real. I feel like a lot of people, you know, we've, you know, we've met great people in our lives, but I feel like we left them just so fucked up because of the shit like this, mm. talking to our exes, just some toxic ass shit. But let's move on though. Um, we're almost done. How has dating been in your teens, bro? Like in your teenage years, how has it been? Cause we like, I'm, I'm turning, you know, I don't, do, do I have to say my age? We're, nah, boy, we're turning that age. Yeah, we're into that, you know, age. Yeah. But like, how's it been? Like, you know, high school and stuff. High school, high, high school. Uh, I feel like dating, dating wise. <sighs> it's been good actually. Yeah. Experimental shit uh, here and there. Would you Would you want your kids to be in a relationship and during their teens? And I feel like it's the years that you're at your peak. Like, wanna do everything from everyone to like everyone. I mean, not to be honest, I wouldn't like. I wouldn't. Not to say I would be this strict parent, but I wouldn't. I would. I wouldn't not want my kids to date. In, during their teens Because I feel like That's where a lot of Kids get fucked up Cause we We're in the real world We have to let them Go through shit By themselves I mean I'm Ooh. saying yes I'm not gonna be there Nah 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 You can't do this yeah. I just be like If you ask for my advice I would be like Son My daughter I don't think you should be dating Um Boy <laughs> I really like The hun- the honeys we dealing with Bro we be Like we meet they need a Dog we, we, we meet like I feel like we meet Great people but like because they dated when they were young, like mm. you know, bro, people like kids now start da- dating when they like 13, 12, and fourteen. Boy, grade and, six, grade five. Boy. And bro, and they, and you know, honey, they, they get so emotionally tapped in, so we, mm. they they actually fuck with a nigga so hard mm. that they end up like at the end of it all, nigga, they so hurt that every man that comes after, after that, that particular nigga, nigga yeah. it's just a child for, it's child for them so because they don't know how yeah. to be loved they emotionally scarred like yeah. they yeah. overthink us and now attachment issues they yeah. can't let go of that ex because yeah. they young and happy they females yeah. and they kids so emma dating in your teens bro to be frank with you i did it obviously but like i wouldn't want my kids to do that i feel like for me it's been a very dope experience boy i mean it it, it has its ups and downs though I feel like I'm the nigga that I am, both both of the both because of the bad experiences and the, and the good experiences. Yes, because I'm the bad experiences teach you a lot. Yeah, but the bad experience can also like lead you to be like a nigga like that's very like negative. 
You wonder why niggas toxic? Why do you think niggas are toxic? Exactly because they've been played too much. Niggas niggas woke up to something. Exactly. Niggas woke up to something. We can't just react act the way we act because of like now nah, we just woke up and decided to act the way we act. Remember, remember now. Nobody was born toxic. Exactly, my boy. Someone made you toxic. Somebody turned me into this demon that I am. Not to say I'm a demon, guys, relax. Nah. But like <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I feel like, bro, my kids dating during their teens. Just nah, be very all, careful. Be very careful. Um, it, it just depends on who they dating, how they do things, and yeah, 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 stuff like that. But our last conversation is apologizing like a man. Ish. Boy, like you just gotta know when you're wrong, <coughs> boy. Ish. Boy. Um, I feel like you know a lot of a lot of men out here, a lot of boys. <laughs> We can't accept the fact that sometimes we're wrong. We're wrong, yeah, exactly. And how about your toxic masculinity? You're like, nah, yeah. I'm not wrong. Not if wrong. I apologize, I'm like, I'm seen you're as weak. weak. Yeah, things yeah. like that. You yeah, apologize like a man, bro. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Now, yeah. And then, like the, I used to talk to a female, whatever. She used to say, dog, everything can be fixed just by a conversation. Exactly, my boy. Come on, guys. Sometimes you don't need to be toxic, you know. Like, like just be chill. Like, just yeah, apologize, exactly, bro. bro. Like, not everything needs to for you to be like future, guys, bro. Yeah. You're not future, bro. You're not him. He's, She's gonna dip, obviously. These oaks, bro. You're not future. Sometimes just apologize, bro. It doesn't. And don't be rough with your like your with your apology. Be nah and be genuine. You can't just say sorry. Like you have to be specific. Or like I know I did this. I'm a, I, I'm like apologizing for what I did. In other words, your apology gotta have um, what's the word? Gotta have gotta have substance. Yeah, you just can't that's apologize. That's I'm that's sorry. That's you sorry for what? So your apology gotta have substance. Mm -hmm. No cap. And yeah, I guess that's it. That's right. it for no, episode no, wait, wait, wait. one. Oh, no, no, wait. <laughs> Any music or artist recommendations? Bro, um, who's this? The Big Hash just dropped uh, 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 an album. It's called The Heartbreak Hotel. Le Le and and Syrah, boy. Fire. Oh, yeah, Syrah. It was Syrah. Syrah's on yeah, fire, nah, boy. Syrah, bro. That nigga. Boy. Tell, yeah, you boy, can I was the song that he was playing the, at the Fakey Man event? Which one? Uh, I played like three of his songs, bro. No, the one that uh, the earlier music video. Which one, nigga? Which one was it? Blueprint. What? Yeah, he was rapping, rapping. What? what? That was, was rapping, fire, rapping, boy. Bro. Bro, this what? nigga, this nigga can rap. This nigga can sing. This nigga can produce. What? What, bro? Bro, talent, ninja, pure talent, boy. This nigga, nah, 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 nah. He, he, go, he's on some Chris Brown type of shit. Why? But yeah, man, um, we got Saira, we got Paseka, and check out the big hash, the yeah, Heartbreak yeah, Hotel, yeah. like, it's crazy. So, yeah, man, um, that's the end of the first episode, man. How do you feel about that? Like, like Boy, actually, that was fire. Was that fire? You enjoyed it? I enjoyed it, boy. Yeah. So, our name is Conversation with Friends. Or like, Conversation with Friends. Oh, no, 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 no. Thoughts with Friends. Thoughts with Friends, I mean. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Ah right, guys, that was Fakey Man and Rimesta. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Rimo Smile. <laughs> that was Fakey Man and Rimo Smile. I really hope y'all enjoyed that episode. Please like, please subscribe. And if y'all want Don't forget to leave a comment. Yeah, man, if y'all want us to talk about something else on the next episode. Exactly. And again, shout out to Paseka and his, you know, crew to like, you know, yeah, yeah. with the lights and stuff. We really appreciate it. And really appreciate y'all niggas for tuning in or watching us. And I'm very excited to do this shit with this nigga. I don't know. Are you gonna stay consistent, nigga? Boy, I'm gonna stay consistent. Don't worry. Like, this is like spa. <laughs> this is work, bro. I know, boy. No I cap. So yeah, bro, I'm super excited for the 1K. I'm super excited for this podcast. Obviously, I'm gonna be dropping a whole lot of different content for y'all. Yeah. But... Yeah, man, catch y'all next time. Fakey man, Remo out this bitch. Peace. Peace. Aye, man. How was okay. that? Fakey, I enjoyed okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know, girl, but we go so hard. Shawty, real life, I don't give a fuck. Looking at your eyes, I'm like, oh my god. The man in me here trying to get it done. Okay, trying to get it up. I'm with you and I'm stuck. The vibe late, like we drunk. I don't think, yeah, I'm fucked. Uh, honey, get a buck This old whiskey be my Nikki Do it ASAP, I'm your Rocky